Hey everybody, what's up? Yeah, I just got home about game it is. <laughs> 14 minutes ago already? Actually, it's uh, about that, about 14, 7. Actually, what time is it really? It's uh, 6.09, so I got home about, I'd say about 12 minutes ago. But uh, yeah, I got a package here. This is from Erike. E R I K A or Erica Eric er, Erica er, Erike Erica 1976 Erike uh, Erica 1976 depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, this is actually a package I got from my mom because uh, she she uh, grew up of course during the time when the Beatles were a big thing, the Beach Boys were a big thing, and she was a fan of both. And what always intrigued her, and I'm sure any fans that grew up on these groups, is the documentaries, the biopics, stuff like that. So, her being a fan of the Beach Boys, as well as like the Beatles, Elvis, you name it, uh, she would also watch. She want. She would keep an eye on what. She would keep an eye on eye on if any documentaries or biopics would come out. So. Um, when this movie came out, out she saw it on television. Thought it was probably probably one of the best uh, biography picks on any group, any music group uh, of the '60s and '70s, and um, felt that, and basically wanted to see it again. Now, when Love and Mercy came out, she wanted to see that because it was a Beach Boys uh, documentary, but mostly on Brian Wilson. And she thought it was all right, but mostly a Brian Wilson biopic than anything else. So she wanted, so, she, so she wanted to see Summer Dreams again. She kept on telling me there's this movie I saw on television that was a better biopic and portrayal of telling the story of the of the Beach Boys. So I knew what she was saying. I knew what she was. I think I knew what she was talking about. I knew she was talking about summer dreams. So I looked online, and apparently, uh, somebody did have it, and I bought it. And it's if this is it, if they didn't make a mistake, in Enrique, 1976, or Erica, 1976, just sent me something my mom's going to enjoy having. So let's hope it is. But if not, I'll be surprised. I do have one more package coming. It'll either be by the end of this week or into next week. So, uh, let's, so this is not the end, but this is just uh, the third package this week. So let's see what this one. Let's see if the correct item came. And um, like I said, the third, let's see if the correct item came. And believe it or not, this actually got put in the mailbox because of its size. So. Again, let's see if it's the correct item. If not, then uh, maybe we need to have a discussion with Eric 1976 or Erica 1976 on giving people this, the right uh, pr uh, items. So, let's see. Looks like it. It looks like it is it is it is it. Is it? It is. It is. It is Summer Dreams, the story of the Beach Boys. The True Life Story of America's Premier Supergroup. Yeah, but there it is, Summer Dreams. 
There it is. And my mom's actually going to be happy to have this. I thought this came out a lot sooner than 89. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Direct source special products. Maybe that's what it was. It was 2006, I think they replayed this on television. That's when I think I saw it, or heard it, heard it was coming on television. But yeah, there it is. Beach Boys, Summer Dreams. A picture-perfect snapshot of the golden age of American pop. So, yeah, there it is. Summer Dreams. But, uh, yeah. Special features. Don't see much. It's it's got English, Spanish, and French language tracks, so you can enjoy it in any language, in any of those three languages, Languages, depending on what your primary language you speak of, or speak, speak of, you know, basically depending on your primary language that you use to talk to people, so uh, there it is, and uh, really that's all it's going to do for this package opening. Um, a little side note, though. Um, a little side note. When I got the Twilight Sparkle Funko uh, figure, I ended up getting it from Collector's Rebellion. I looked up the address of Collector's Rebellion. Get this. Collector's Rebellion is in Van Buren, Arkansas. But from what I saw, and all it was was a satellite of... Uh, of the uh, uh, of the area, it was a farm. It was a barn. It was a farm. It was a farm uh, property. Apparently, the people that run Collectors Rebellion live in a farm in a rural area. Nothing wrong with that because I live in the same kind of thing. But you could see basically that they mostly have farmland. So apparently, they can afford to do something on the side like Collectors Rebellion. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but that was interesting. That was pretty, it, so that's pretty cool. But it was also interesting to notice that I'm not saying what the address was, but to see where the location was, satellite-wise, by Google Maps, that's kind of surprising. So, anyway, though, that's about does it for this package opening. Let me know what you guys think down below, and hopefully another one will be coming before the week's out, maybe into next week. But if it is into next week, little fair warning, it might be silent or late at night. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like.